Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about how you can maximize the amount of cash back and rewards you receive every time you buy gas at Shell. For those of you not familiar with cash back stacking strategies, essentially what a cash back stacking strategy is, is using multiple ways, whether it's a credit card or coupons or different cash back apps, and you use all of those in conjunction in order to get cash back in multiple ways. And so with every cash back stacking strategy, the first level you start with, it's always with a cash Cashback credit card. And so the cashback credit card that I personally use to get cash back when buying gas is the Costco credit card. Now with Costco, no matter where you buy gas at, whether it's at Costco, Shell, Exxon, wherever, you get 4% cash back. So in this video, I'm specifically gonna talk about Shell and the different ways that you can get cash back at Shell. And so because Costco will allow you to get cash back at any gas station, then that means it works for Shell as well. Now there are some other great benefits to the Costco credit card, which I won't get into in this video. I do have a few other videos talking about that specifically. So I'm just gonna get into the details about going to Shell. And of course, if you ask Shell which credit card you should use, then they wouldn't say the Costco credit card, they would say their own Shell rewards card. So Shell has two credit cards that you can get with them, and they're both called the Shell Fuel Rewards Card, and one of them is a MasterCard. Now with the first card, the non-MasterCard version, you can only use this at Shell. So this isn't your typical credit card where you can use it anywhere, it's essentially a store-specific card. While the MasterCard version of the card, you can use it anywhere where MasterCard is accepted. And as a Shell Fuel Rewards member, you can save five cents per gallon on every gallon of gas that you purchase, up to 20 gallons per purchase. And this savings is bumped up to 10 cents when you use the Shell Fuel Rewards credit card. And so in order to get the first five cent discount, you don't actually have to have a Shell Fuel Rewards credit card. You just need to be a Shell Fuel Rewards member. And so as a member, you can use whatever credit card you want, whether it's the Costco credit card or another gas cashback credit card that you prefer. All you need to get that five cent discount is to use a credit card. But if you do wanna get the Shell Rewards specific MasterCard, then you can save an additional five cents per gallon, giving you a total of 10 cents per gallon off every time you pump gas at Shell. Now there is a sign up bonus. If you do decide to go with the Shell Rewards credit card, you'll get 30 cents off per gallon on your first five purchases. Now considering gas in my area is currently around $2 per gallon, with those first fill ups, that you're, first five fill ups that you're gonna get with the Shell Fuel Rewards card when you sign up for it, that means you're getting about a 15% discount on your first five gallons of gas. And then every gallon of gas after that where you're getting the 10 cent discount, you're getting about 5% discount on every purchase. Now, of course, your percent discount is gonna vary because the price of a gallon of gas is gonna vary day to day, week to week, month to month. But considering the average price of gas being between $1.50 up to $4 during most times of the year or, and in the past, then that means you're getting at least 2.5% cash back, maybe up to 6.5% cash back. Now, if you don't always have a shell in your area and you wanna take advantage of using the, your card at any gas station, then choosing a card like the Costco Rewards Card or any other credit card which gives you a special bonus of cash back in the gas category, then you may wanna choose that as your main option to use, even if you're gonna to go to Shell most of the time. Because sometimes if you're on a road trip or if you're going on a long drive, there may not be a Shell where you need to purchase gas. And you know, only having that Shell Fuel Rewards credit card, you won't be able to get those additional bonus cash back rewards if you were to go to a different gas station. And so in the next three levels of this cash back stacking strategy, you'll see how using a credit card that's not only specific to Shell will, may actually benefit you in the future. Now the Shell Fuel Rewards MasterCard does give you 10% rebates for Shell purchases that are not for gas. So if you were to buy like food, for example, within the gas station, you would get 10% cash back toward, as a credit towards your bill. And you also get 2% back for dining and restaurant purchases, and then 1% cash back on everything else. And that's the main difference between the Shell Fuel Rewards credit card that's not a MasterCard and the MasterCard version. With the MasterCard version, you're getting these additional benefits Benefits. With the non-MasterCard version, you're not gonna get those additional benefits when you're making purchases for dining, restaurants, or the 1% cash back on anything. 
And now with all of this cash back, none of it you can actually get as cash back. Now you can use the cash back as a credit towards your credit card, meaning that all of your purchases, you're essentially getting an additional discount, whether it's 1% on any purchase or 2% on dining and restaurants. And so that's an additional benefit that you can get, even if you choose to only get the Shell Fee Rewards MasterCard credit card. And so let's move on to level two, which is using the GetUpside app to earn cash back. Now, the GetUpside app is an app that you can download from the Apple Store or download from the Play Store on Android devices. And with this app, there are select gas stations all across the nation that you can choose from, which will allow you to earn cash back with your purchase. And now this isn't for every gas station, and it's not even for every Shell gas station. But for the Shell gas stations that do allow this feature, you can earn cash back with every purchase you make at Shell. Now the one downside and what you'll have to make a decision on is that if you use the Shell Fuel Rewards program or the membership, you can't also use GetUpside at the same time. So these two do not stack together. And that's why in the first level, you have to make a decision whether you're going to use the Shell Fuel Rewards or if you're going to use a different credit card in order to get cash back. Now, if you use the different credit card, like the Costco credit card that I personally use, I'll get 4% back and then I can still stack to get upside cash back with my regular credit card. But also, as I mentioned with the Shell Fuel Rewards membership, you don't have to use the Shell Fuel Rewards credit card in order to get that discount. So if I were to link my Costco credit card to Shell Fuel Rewards, I then can't also use it for GetUpside. So you have to make a decision if you wanna be able to make all four of these levels that I'm gonna talk about for this cash back stacking strategy. And so I personally use my Costco credit card. That allows me to also use the GetUpside app to stack more cash back. And with GetUpside, I've noticed that the amount of cash back that you can receive per gallon, it can range from one cent per gallon all the way up to 15 cents per gallon. And again, considering that gas is around $2 at the moment, then that's a half percent up to seven and a half percent cash back on every gallon of gas that you purchase. And so on average, I get about 4% cash back whenever I use GetUpside to earn cash back. Once you open the app, you have a few options. You can link your credit card, which will allow you to get automatic cash back depending on the specific gas station that you use. There's a blue lightning bolt that will show up next to the gas station that you're selecting. And specifically, when you're using the GetUpside app, you have to actually go inside the app, select the gas station near you, and it'll show you the ones that are actually eligible for GetUpside cash back. Once you select that gas station, if it is one of the gas stations that allows for automatic cash back, all you need to do is claim the offer and use the credit card that you linked to the GetUpside app and you'll earn that cash back. But the other way that you can earn cash back, even if it doesn't have that automated option, is to upload a copy of the receipt that you receive once you make that gas purchase. And whenever you claim an offer, you have a four hour window to which you can actually earn that cash back. And you're basically locking in the amount of cash back that you receive from that gas station because it can change throughout the day how much you'll get, whether it's one cent or maybe even up to 15 cents per gallon that will fluctuate throughout the day. And also as a member of GetUpside, if you do invite other people using the referral link, you will earn 15 cents per gallon bonus for everyone that signs up under your referral. So if you use my referral link, which will be linked down below, you will earn 15 cents per gallon boost when you first sign up. And I will also earn a 15 cents per gallon boost for anyone that signs up using my link. So make sure you use the link down below. All right, so the third level of cashback that you can receive is with the Bits of Stock app. With the Bits of Stock app, when you make purchases at Shell, you can get half a percent cash back on all of your gas purchases. And that cash back is actually used to purchase stock. And so this is essentially a stock back app. And so for example, if you were to go to Shell right now and gas is currently at $2 per gallon, and you had to fill up 15 gallons worth of gas, which is about the average tank of gas in cars nowadays, then that means you would be spending $30 for your fill up today. Now with $30, you would be getting 15 cents cash back, which would then be used to purchase stock of Shell. Now, if you had to fill up every week, spending $30 every week, then that means that by the end of the year, you would have almost $8, it would be about $7.80 by the end of the year, and that would all be used to purchase stock into Shell. Now Shell stock is currently around $32 at the recording of this video. And so you would essentially have about one fourth a share of Shell gas if you were to buy gas every week and you were to spend $30 every week at Shell specifically. 
And now in addition to your now being an owner of Shell stock, Shell also pays a dividend. And Shell's dividend is currently at $1.28, which is about a 4% yield. And so you'll also be earning the dividends that Shell pays out because you are now an owner of the stock. Now that's a great bonus to have when your cash back is going towards stock and that stock can appreciate in value over time while also paying you a dividend at the same time. Now next is the final level, which is the fourth level, which is the bumped app. Now, very similar to the Bits of Stock app, with the Bumped app, you get half a percent cash back, which is then used to purchase stock because it is also a stock back app. Now, with the Bumped app, you have specific categories that you can earn cash back in. And so Shell, of course, is in the gas category, but you also have options for restaurants, grocery stores, and other categories that you can choose from. But you can only select one store per category. And of course, since this video is about Shell, you would select Shell as the specific gas station that you're gonna receive cash back from. But with the Bits of Stock app that we just talked about, you can choose up to 15 different stores no matter what category they're in. And so if you're on a road trip or if you're away from the normal gas stations that you go to and you can't find a Shell, then you can also get cash back for Exxon or Chevron or BP and you can earn stock back in those categories as well. But with the Bumped app, you can only receive that stock back with one specific company per category. And also there's another difference with the Bumped app in the fact that the stock that you're going to receive is not stock in Shell. You would actually receive stock in the Total Stock Market Index Fund from Vanguard, ticker symbol VTI. And now if you've watched any of my investing videos in the past, you know that I am a fan of Vanguard ETFs and I also invest specifically in the Total Stock Market ETF, which I actually share a portfolio of stocks where I invest in an IRA through M1 Finance. I share that on my Instagram page so you can check me out at AJ Mobile Money. I post a monthly update of that specific portfolio, which includes the VTI, ticker symbol, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund. And so with many of the other stores or stocks that you can choose from in the Bumped app, some of them allow you to choose either the stock of the company that you're actually select within your category, or you can also choose the Total Stock Market ETF. And some stocks you don't have an option, you only get whatever the company stock is, or you get the Total Stock Market ETF. But I personally, when I do have the option, I always choose the Total Stock Market ETF. And so just like with Shell stock, the Total Stock Market Index Fund also pays a dividend, although it's not as high, it's not 4%. It's currently just below 2% at the moment. But with the Total Stock Market ETF, you have the growth of every business in the United States that's included in that ETF. And so as far as long-term growth, you're actually better off with that than you probably would be selecting an individual stock, especially an individual stock related to gas. And so altogether, once you consider all four levels of cash back that you can receive whenever you purchase gas at Shell, you're gonna get a minimum of 4% total cash back up to as high as 15% cash back on every gas purchase you make at Shell. And so this is a great way to maximize the rewards or the cash back or the stock back that you're gonna receive whenever you make a gas purchase at Shell. And so gas is something that you know, if you own a vehicle that's not an electric vehicle, you're gonna to have to purchase gas every week or every two weeks. And this is something that you're gonna do for an ongoing basis for a very long time. And so if you're gonna make these purchases anyway, you might as well find every way that you can to maximize on any benefit that you would receive by using the cashback credit card, using cashback and stockback apps whenever you choose to buy gas at Shell. And so I personally, on average, receive about 8.5% cashback. That's 4% via my Costco credit card, another 3.5% average via the GetUpside app, and then another half percent with the Bumped app and the Bits of Stock app, and that brings it to a total of about 8.5% every time I buy gas at Shell. And so if you like this video and you like finding ways that you can earn more cash back on your everyday purchases, I actually have a playlist called the Cashback Stacking Strategy Playlist. And that lists multiple different stores where you can earn cash back using similar strategies to what I talked about in this video. And so be sure to check that out. All right, thanks for watching this video today. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day. If you're not a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.